Hey guys, CodyBall3 here, and welcome to episode 7 of Luck of the Draw. Now, the idea of the series is that I will open two gold jumbo packs, I'll take the highest rated player from each pack, and build a team around those two players. So, let's get straight into it and open the two gold jumbo packs. And in the first pack, we will be getting Chesney. He comes up on the screen now in just two seconds. Yeah, there he is. And he is a goalkeeper for Arsenal. And we did get him in a pretty good formation. You'll see coming up here, it was 4 1 2 and 2. Now, a lot of you guys will know him from the last couple of days because he did uh, get sent off in the first ever Euro 2012 game and gave away a penalty. Luckily, uh, the subkeeper did save it, but uh, that's where you guys would probably uh, remember him from in recent history. So uh, that wasn't a bad omen, though. He was actually pretty decent for me. And in the second pack, we do get Diamante. Now, he's a centre attacking midfielder, plays in the Serie A. Uh, for Bologna now he's a non-rare player uh, which uh, I suppose it is uh, the luck of the draw excuse the pun but you won't get good players in every single pack I suppose he wasn't 4 2 3 1 but I decided to go with 4 1 2 and 2 as I do pick one of the two formations on either card to build the team around so I said I'd go with 4 and 2 and 2 because I do enjoy playing in that formation and you'll see coming up some of the players that I do sign then the next one is team of the year hazard now the reason why he was so expensive is because I bought him a couple days before he was re-released in the current team of the year. So that's why he was going for that considerable amount more. But I did sell him off just in time before the team of the year uh, re-released this week with all the best players. And likewise with Vince and company. So you'll see the team value is 863,500 coins. But you could easily knock off over 100,000 off that with, with the price drop of Vince and company and Eden Hazard. Now, uh, you'll see my record there. I played quite well over the 20 games and scored quite a few goals. El Sharaway was my top goal scorer. But you see there, everyone does have nine chemistry, even though there are a couple of dead links in the team. And we will run really quickly through the team. Now we have Chesney in goals. He was decent, as I said. Nothing unbelievable by any stretch of the imagination. He did pull off some really, really good saves, as you'll see coming up here. And he is really good at reflexes and diving. But uh, he's also prone to some real howlers. I mean, like, he let in some goals that I was like, how did the keeper not save that? But what can you do? He is only an 80-rated keeper. And our next player is Cicinho at right back. Now, I absolutely love Cicinho. One of my favorite right backs in the game. And he's a silver as well. He's four-star skills. He's got uh, just great dribbling. He's got a fantastic pace. And he's actually got such a rocket of a shot for a right back. And great, great player. He was just under 20k. Definitely worth investing in. And our first centre back is Dav Luiz. What can I say? Probably the best centre back in the game. He does make his return for this episode because he is so good. But he's got an amazing stand and tackle as you'll see coming up here. And he's just quick. Uh, great defending, great heading, overall just unbelievable. I couldn't pick out one thing in, in particular. And Vincent Company, now I wasn't overly impressed with the team of the year, Vincent Company. I, to be honest, I don't think there's much of a difference between his non-informed card. Definitely not worth uh, the 200k I suppose it would cost you to go out and get him now. Uh, I would definitely recommend just going for his non-informed version and saving yourself that money. And Shimanga is a great, great player. I mean, a really solid left back. He's got 93 pace, which is amazing. But other than that, he's actually got good dribbling. And he's a great defender. Never gets caught out of position. Really loved playing with him. Now, Hazard, I think he would have been more suited to being a left winger. I found in left midfield, he just didn't get involved as much as he did. But, I mean, his finesse shots and his shooting in general were absolutely amazing. I loved playing with him. Great pace, great dribbling. Definitely a great left midfielder. And we've got Marion Fellaini here. Now, I was surprised at how good he was. He does start off as a CEM. I convert him to a CDM. And my, oh my, his heading is amazing. He's got great defending heading stats. Over 80 in both. Great player to invest in. And I really did enjoy playing him in CDM. Now, our right midfielder is Mike Onieti. I wasn't overly impressed with them. I think there is better options if you're looking for a Brasilver uh, right-sided midfielder. And that would be Danilinho. And he does have five-star skills as well. So I don't think Mike Onieti is all that impressive for over 100k. I think he is definitely uh, not worth the price. But Diamante, he was distinctively average. Although he did have a great free kick on him. Probably the best free... I think it was the best free kick stats in my whole team. And our first striker is Mikuli. Now, I was surprised at how good second in form Mikuli was. I mean, he was amazing. His shooting, heading, everything, his dribbling. He was just a little wonder kid up there. Great, great player. Even though he's not a kid, I know he's quite old. And uh, there's the wonder kid, actually, himself, uh, El Sharari. And, uh, yeah, you'll see coming up here, his strength, his shot, everything is amazing. Even though I can't say his name all that well, and I'm not too sure exactly how it's pronounced. I think it's El Sharari. And uh, I sound like I have a list when I say that, but what can you do? Uh, he is a great, great player. And this team, in general, I did really enjoy playing with. Absolutely fantastic team. 
Uh, the total value was quite expensive, but definitely worth it. The players are really good. But let's kick straight on in and count down the top three best players in the team. So in at number three, we have Eden Hazard. Now, he originally comes as a left winger, but I did convert him to a left midfielder in our 4-1-2-1-2 team. And he was an excellent player for me. His stats on his card are insane. He's got 93 pace, 91 shooting and 95 dribbling. That's insane for a winger. He's only got four star skills and four star weak foot, but he makes up for it because he does have the finesse shot trait and scores some absolutely amazing finesse shots like the one you've seen there. Lobbed it over the keeper in the top right. Great player. Definitely go out and pick him up. And in second place, we have Fabrizio Miccoli. Now, that is his second in form. He was fantastic for me. On his card, he doesn't have amazing stats for a striker, I suppose. He does have 89 pace, which means he is quite pacey. 91 shooting and 89 dribbling. And he only does have four-star skills and four-star weak foot. But it is probably enough for him in the striker position. But his hidden stats are insane. That's what makes him such a good player. He's got like 95 acceleration, 97 agility, 99 balance, which is insane. And he's also got actually an amazing header. Even though his stats say otherwise, he scored some pretty amazing headers for me. Great player. Definitely want to go out and pick up. He is only 100k. And in first place, we have El Shirawi. Now, he was amazing for me. I mean, he scored 20 goals in 20 games. And he originally does come as a center attack in mid. But I would convert him to a center forward, a striker, because he does play a lot better there. I had him in a Serie A silver team before, and he didn't play all that well at a center attack in mid. But if you did pass through him on the marketplace and seen his stats, you wouldn't rate him all that much. But I think he is uh, the worst kept secret on Ultimate Team. Everyone knows just how good he is. He has five star skills, five star weak foot, and he's just an absolute monster. A nightmare for defenders. He plays absolutely unbelievably. And he, he is quite expensive, but he does warrant his 60k price tag because he is insane. So guys, that's it for this episode. I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, make sure to hit that like button. And I will see you for the next episode, guys.